Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now this is a long awaited video which I am really excited about filming. This is my next haul from Christmas but I kind of wanted to put a kind of a different twist on it because I didn't just buy stuff from Next, I bought stuff from lots of different places. Basically I have had a complete wardrobe revamp. Um, over the past 18 months my body has changed shape quite a lot. Um, where I used to be a size 6 to 8, I am now a 12 to 14 and um, yeah it's been quite a learning journey really and you will see a lot more about that journey if you watch my vlog this month. Now I am quite petite, I am 5 foot and a half or one and a half, something like that. Um, I am short-waisted and I have got quite a big bust. So trying to find clothes that fit my new shape, so to speak, um, have been quite challenging. Something that I've not had any issues with in the past. I've always just been able to go out, buy clothes and go, oh yes, look, I'm wearing clothes. But actually trying to find things now that I'm a bit older that still suit me and that suit my new shape and understanding how to get clothes to work for me. So for example, I actually lost my waist slightly this year. So understanding how you can change the shape of clothes to suit your but new body shape was a really interesting learning journey that I've gone on and um, I definitely recommend if you are thinking about going on that journey or you want to kind of explore that kind of side of things um, I definitely recommend having a personal styling appointment to kind of start you off um, and then uh, there are some great videos on YouTube about uh, personal styling and body shape and things like that that will help you understand what will suit you. Um, so I hope you like the things that I have selected. I will do a couple of try-ons, I probably won't try on everything but I'll do a couple of try-ons so you can kind of see what I got. Okay so the first two things that I picked up was two jackets. So the first jacket, and I'll link all the prices below, was this one and it was from Oasis. Um, basically it's a nice kind of neutral suede colour biker jacket. It's really really cosy, it's in a medium and I picked it up in the next sale. Um, I'm just going to pop it on so you can have a little look. Um, it's really really cute, it's got a um, some nice detailing on it. Um, I love the buttons, it fits really nicely. Um, it doesn't come too far down on the waist, which I really, really like. And yeah, it's just really cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, so I like it lots. It reminds me very much of the uh, mint velvet jackets that they brought out earlier this year. Um, yeah, and it's just really nice and cosy. It's a good length in the arms as well, because I like it to kind of just come over the cuffs of my hands and it's got pockets so yeah really happy with that one. Next is a staple that I think everyone should have in their wardrobe and that is a leather jacket. So this one is from Warehouse and I picked it up in the sale. Um, it has got nice little detail on detailing on it as well. It is a little bit smaller than the, wear, the Oasis jacket but I do really like it. It's nice and lightweight and just kind of you know you can dress it up or down. Um, yeah so yeah really really nice. Um, it's got a nice fit to it. The shoulders don't come out too far and um, it's got some nice texture. I also picked up two blazers which is something that I've always thought I would like to wear but never really had the confidence to um, but I think now that I'm a little bit older I think I can get away with wearing um, uh, more of a blazer than a cardigan. I think cardigans just don't look particularly great on me but I really like a blazer it's kind of like something warm to wear but it's a little bit more stylish. So I picked up this one this has got like a houndstooth pattern with a little bit of yellow in it which just really suited my colours that kind of I work with and it's got more of a boyfriend cut. So next I picked up this red 
uh, blazer. This was from Next actually and is in a petite size 10. It's a little bit more of a um, kind of textured fabric but I really liked the colour because it's kind of like that burnt red which goes nicely with lots of oranges and warm tones which is really what suits my skin tone. So I think it's got a nice cut to it, it's got a lapel pocket here and has just got a really nice um, ties in with a lot of colours that I naturally wear so I thought it would be quite nice. Next I picked up this kind of like basic um kind of fine knit jumper it's got a round neck it's by vera moda which is a brand that i really discovered recently their fabrics feel gorgeous they're really nice and soft um, and this just works kind of really well as kind of like a basic everyday little top this one was actually not in the next sale it was full price but what i liked about it was the size of the stripes are a little bit smaller um, it's still nice and cozy and um, it's nice to kind of like tuck into jeans or you can wear with a skirt to make it a little bit more jazzy i thought this would be nice for like summer as well because it's a little bit more casual and it's got more of an envelope neck which suits my shape a bit better so i got this other gray jumper and this is also from vera moda um, I didn't plan on keeping this one, but it's so soft, like literally the fabric is so soft. It almost feels like cashmere, but better. Um, really, really beautiful. Um, it's got like a bit of a kind of rounded neck, which kind of comes up higher, which is nice. And it's also got a bit of a peplum on it, which means it's just really kind of um, thick, like, and it's also curved. So it kind of just hides my pooch. I also got two cardigans this one was from uh john lewis and was 12 pounds in the sale um and it's just like a nice kind of size 12 snuggly little warm cardigan and it's just slightly oversized which i really like and it's got nice big pockets this one is from max studio which is kind of more like a petite range um which is really really nice um and it's got like a a ruching around the middle so you can got the ties just kind of like bring it together and then you've got a nice kind of fitted feel this is also from Mac Studio which is a brand which I really really like just because they fit really well especially if you, like me, are a little bit more on the petite side. Um, and this is more of like a coatigan. Um, it's quite kind of uh, on, the, on the bigger size. It's a medium, but actually um, I wouldn't want to go any bigger um, because you do have to kind of roll the arms up a little bit. To get it to fit i mean you can have them down but then they are a bit oversized so rolling them up is the way forward i also got two other pieces of knitwear i got this kind of like more of a ribbed fitted jumper which was also from john lewis that was also 12 pounds in the sale so their sale items i think were really really good and you got some really good value um, I also got this black kind of crew neck fine knit jumper which has kind of got cropped sleeves um, and a split hem. Um, this was from the next petite range and um, I, I don't really gravitate towards wearing lots of black but actually I think that um, it's good to have a staple black piece in your wardrobe. Uh, from Oasis I picked up some more envelope neck tops because I just find that that shape suits my neckline really really well. Um, so I got two of their envelope necks. I got one in the red which I think you may have seen me wear a few times in a couple of videos even though I've not taken the tag off it yet it still feels really nice and new um, and I also got a white one now this is really sheer I would definitely have to wear a camisole underneath it um, but I think it's really important to have like a plain white top in your wardrobe because then you can kind of mix and match it with lots of different things I also did some shopping on boohoo.com and picked up a huge bundle of 
turtleneck tops um so uh some of these were from next and some of these were from boohoo directly because they didn't have the colors or the sizes but they were all in the sale which was really really great so i picked up like a gray polo neck um a khaki one uh a dark gray a mustard um a, a kind of like burnt red color and then almost like a dark biscuit red i say biscuit red it's more like a burnt a burnt red like a dark a dark red i love that color it's really rich and vibrant and um, but all these will work so well with all the different cardigans and tops and jackets and just layering those different colors together um, i think will work really nicely so i also picked up two other tops this was a dupe for a whistles dress that i tried on at john lewis um and this is by warehouse it was in the sale and it's also got like this like ruched panel at the front which means that it kind of cinches in and kind of flows over any kind of like little tummy so it kind of just hides any little pooching that you've got going on um which is really cute i like the pattern and it works really really nicely with the uh leather jacket because it just is a really fun and playful kind of seasonal piece i also picked up a little kind of boat neck top from next this one wasn't actually in the sale but i actually love stripes at the moment and i think they work really well for me um this one is black and white it's actually in a size eight because it came up quite big um and yeah it's just a really nice thin lightweight material and thought it would be good for summer okay so moving on to my bottom half so to speak um i picked up a couple of things that i had missing from my collection that i really wanted to add um so the first thing was this midi skirt this is a petite version of the midi skirt from next and um it wasn't in the sale but i really wanted to kind of play around with that look i really enjoyed seeing lots of people wearing these lovely kind of beautiful pleated um skirts over the past couple of months and yeah i didn't want to be left out just because i was petite so they have brought out a petite version which seemed to be selling out quite quickly so if you are looking for one uh, definitely worth going and checking it out i also bought two pairs of new jeans um the jeans that i always purchase um are the next 360 stretch jeans um these ones are just really really stretchy like absolutely like you know whatever shape you are they are going to be beautifully figure hugging but they're not going to kind of make you look lumpy or bumpy um they are expensive they usually come in around about 40 to 50 pounds a pair one of the best things i can say to you about these jeans is whatever you do when you wash them do not wash them with um uh, a fabric conditioner no 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 i learned that the hard way for about three years i couldn't work out why they kept shrinking on me and it was because i was using them with fabric conditioner since i've stopped i've now managed to keep like four different colors so i got some black ones because i didn't have any black ones and i also got a pair of uh these this kind of like blue color really which were kind of like every day um these ones were in the sale and they were a size 14 i do always have to go up uh quite a lot in them because they do come up quite small um but they are like high rise and yeah they just fit really nicely i did also get myself a new pair of work trousers because um i always kind of just get an extra pair or two at this time of the year in the sales um, and these ones were really different they had like these little kind of like poppers on the side of the leg so they kind of have a nice casual feel to them so i think they were 11 pounds which is just a bargain um, and these were a size 12. okay so there's just a couple more pieces to show you before i'm just going to do a couple of outfits and put a few things together first of all was this one t-shirt that i forgot to show you this was in the next sale and was 
nine pounds yeah nine pounds in the next sale and it's basically got these like little studs on them which i thought were a little kind of cute and it was a little bit more kind of fun and retro for the summer i also picked up a polo neck dress something that i've never had in my wardrobe before something a little bit fun and quirky now this is also by max studio but it was in the sale and was 21 pounds um, i've teamed it up with like a brown little leather belt because i'm also getting some brown leather knee highs to wear with it um, it's a line which means that it just kind of comes out at the chest and flows outwards rather than being shaped at all which means that it really kind of suits people who a are short-waisted so you can add a belt to it if you want to and make a waist but at the same time um, if you do want to kind of have like a a day where you're feeling kind of a bit larger um, it's not going to kind of show that to anybody so I also picked up this outdoor coat by Regatta. Um, I live in Devon, so you know, you get a lot of rain and wind and nastiness. So this is a just a really nice lightweight um, winter waterproof, windproof coat. Um, the thing that I really liked about it is that the hood had this um, like drawstring on it, which was something that was missing from my normal everyday winter coat um, and it's got some really nice big pockets and it doesn't it like folds down really small but it's still really warm and cozy um, and big enough for you to put layers on underneath okay so talking about shoes I, there was a couple of key things that were missing from my collection that i wanted to add to my collection this year so the first thing that i wanted to get was a pair of ankle boots so these were from very and they're from the brand ugg in fact i really found these so comfortable that i went on to buy a few more pairs of UGG shoes which we'll talk about in a second um, but yeah they're just a plain pair of ankle boots they are low cut on the ankle they don't come up particularly high which is really really nice and they've got this kind of like angled big zip which is kind of a nice feature also the logo is quite discreet so if you don't want a kind of like strong logo on your shoes um, then these are really comfortable now they did come up quite small they are quite snug when you put them on but once I've got them on I never want to take them off they're really comfortable I also got a pair of little white sneakers these are also from UGG and their current collection um, I love these they've got like a little silver bit on the back so it's nice to kind of have something that's not just bright white now it isn't really a bright bright white which I really like about them they're not kind of like literally like glowing um it wouldn't really matter if they got a little bit mucky um because they're kind of like an off-white color which i just love um inside they've got like a leather sole um i do find that my feet are a little bit more sweaty in them than in like a normal kind of material footbed but i think that's just because their leather maybe i don't know but really comfortable they do again come up on the slightly smaller size these are a four um but they are not uncomfortable at all in the slightest i also got a black pair um these are also by ugg again and they're like a black sneaker um they're a little bit more chunky and bulky and i did wonder if they were more designed for like a boy than a girl but they do still fit, they were in the sale, so I thought they were a bit of a bargain. Um, and actually what I liked about these, being that I had a white pair and now I've got a black pair, that if I'm doing like a messy job or, you know, maybe like, taking my sister's dog for a walk or something like that I would probably wear these rather than my white ones just because I wouldn't want to get them messy um, these ones are maybe a little bit more hard wearing um, they also have more of a fabric um, sole inside rather than the leather so yeah I'm not too bothered about messing these ones up and then getting them kind of scruffy and dirty they are what they are and yeah they're just a pair of black black trainers so yeah that is everything that um i got uh, i'm just gonna put together a couple of little looks for you so if you want to see what that looks like you can keep watching okay so that is my new wardrobe for 2019 i definitely will add 
like seasonal pieces to it so um, I know that when all the animal print stuff came out earlier on this year I did buy like an animal print red jumper which was really really nice but what I love about the fact that I've now got kind of lots of different staples is that I don't have to if I don't want to there's some really nice easy looks for me to put together I don't really have to think about what works with each other everything kind of fits within the same kind of demographic and there's still a couple of fun pieces in there for me to play around with. So I think I kind of have just kind of reinvented what I'm going to be wearing and it's really kind of refreshing. Um, over the past couple of months I have felt that every time I've gone to my wardrobe I've looked and I've seen a lot of stuff that just didn't fit me and it's just felt really sad in a way because I didn't want to get rid of a lot of stuff but actually now it's gone and I have I can just go to my wardrobe and I can just randomly pick out a couple of pieces and everything will just work um I feel kind of a little bit more powerful and a little bit kind of more ready for the day I want to get up I want to be motivated I want to go out and people to see me in my nice new clothes um so yeah it's really really nice and refreshing the only thing I would say is that I am still missing like a big jumper or like a big cardigan um which is what I want to get so if you see anything like that hanging around anywhere let me know mm -hmm.